Hi crafty friends, it's Audra Monk the Crafty Yogi and welcome to the Crafty Corner. All right, I'm getting my computer started, so if you're here, you can say hi. Okay, I'm apologizing a hundred times in advance. I still have a cold. It's been a super long day, a super long week, but um, I didn't make a video last week um, because I was sick. Let me see. Okay, hold on one more second. You know, it takes a second to get this whole little shenanigans. Yay, we're here. Okay, so I didn't make a video last week because I was really sick last Sunday, and um, so I was feeling kind of bad about that, and you know, consistency is key. We should make videos if we're trying to grow our business this way, um, but today I had an open house, and it was wonderful. Everybody was so nice, and it all went really well, um, so if you came to the open house, I'll put the orders in after this video. Um, oh, I was going to tell you the host code. If anybody would like to randomly order tonight before, you know, 9 o'clock or by 9.15, um, let me know and I'll give you a host code. If you order, I'll send you um, a little special treat. But anyway, let's get crafting so that way this video won't take too long and we'll just have fun. Um, okay, I don't have a huge thing planned. I'm going to wing it a little bit, which is always a little crazy. Um, if you're here, say hello. If there's a red thing in the top, that means we're live. So um, I'll say hi right back. If you're watching this later, I still love your comments and I like to know that you were here. So this is a new stamp set in our um, mini catalog called Mountain Air. And there are dies, although I'm not going to use the dies because I did not bring my die cutting machine over. Um, we're just going to use the stamps. Uh, I don't even know if we're going to make a whole card. I'm just going to show you how to watercolor because I have done watercolor with stamps before and um, it didn't work. And so I actually had to go find someone's video and then I was like, oh yeah, do it that way. So I'm gonna show you that way. So look at this cute project I made. Isn't that adorable? So this is the, the mountains um, and then the, the trees stamped twice um, in, on watercolor paper. And then I you know, used some dimensionals and I put the cute little letters on there. And I thought that would be such a fun gift or you know, to have around your house if you like mountains, that is. If you don't like mountains, you know, maybe you don't love it. But it's a good technique to learn. So we're gonna get started. So let me move this out of the way. Okay, so I'm not using the dies, but they are there and these trees are really cool. And sometimes it might be nice to cut out uh, the tree line or the mountains. Um, but we're just going to talk about the watercolor. So it's nice to have some paper towels down to start. Okay, and let's see. I thought of a couple ways. Okay, so colors. I'm going to go ahead and do them all in blue, but we might add trees, and we'll see what happens. I'm using Seaside Spray, Blueberry Bushel. I love this blue. And Night of Navy. So I'm going to use those three blues. I think you could do this in browns. I think you could do it in oranges. I think you could have a lot of fun, but we're going to go with the blue ones since, you know, I didn't have time to think of something else. And then if we add trees, we'll figure out what green we want. The other thing you need is some kind of spritzer. And we sell these really awesome spritzers. I like them because they're small um, and they can just go in like your pencil uh, bin or whatever. Um, so something with, and I just have water in here. So some water. We might need our heat, heat tool if we want to get a whole project done. So you're going to have to endure the, the drying if we have to. Okay, now, I've got the stamps. You need these really long blocks. So sometimes if you're ordering a stamp set like this, you might not already own these blocks. Um, having two is very handy, but you could make it work with one. So I put the mountains and I put the trees on there. Okay, so we're going to try. We're going to go first and do something totally different. This is a piece of shimmery white. So for watercolor, you want, oh, where's, oh, here's watercolor paper. Um, we have watercolor paper and we have shimmery white. I would recommend using these. So we're going to see what happens on shimmery white. I didn't do it on that. So I'm going to see if it's too much water. Um, the other cool thing, <laughs> this is my mess up from when I made that project. I'm just going to use the back. It totally works. Um, and if I need to cut some more paper, we will, but let's go ahead and try this shimmery white. And Normally I would think, oh, let's do it the landscape because it's such a long mountain, but we're only going to use part of the mountain on this. We're going to go all crazy here and um, and just do over, I don't know. I just thought this would be cool. I have no idea why. It might be terrible and that's okay. So I'm going to use, <laughs> oh my goodness, it is okay actually. I'm going to use um, the mountains first and we're going to do the same color like I did on that last project. Okay, so when I did on watercolor paper, I spritz the paper first. Okay, but I'm not gonna spritz on camera because I don't want water all in my space. You're gonna laugh. When I spritz, spritz over a carpet. 
um, because that way little drops of water go down and it, it won't bother anyone. So I'm going to spritz this very lightly. So, okay, how far can I, see how far this is? I'm going to hold this even farther because this is shimmery white and not watercolor. I'm going to hold it way over here. Okay, so just so you know far, like arm's length. And I just spritz it twice, very lightly. Okay, next we're going to ink up our mountain. And I'm going to think about, see what I was thinking is I'm going to, we're going to try to build a, a vertical scene. I have no idea why I'm like thinking this, but we're just going to try it. Okay, so I'm just going to ink up this side to start. Okay, and then I'm going to spritz this. And again, I'm going to hold it like medium far because I don't want a ton of water on it. So two spritzes is what I did. And I'm going to do a mountain right here. Okay, and then I like to give it a little bit of time and I'm gonna lift it up and I'm gonna do it again. Oh, so I think I could actually spritz more. Do you see how, oh, that looks so cool. I'm just going across. Okay, so see, it's a little more defined. So I think if I spritz more, I'll get a softer look. So we'll see what happens. Um, but let's do the same mountain in one color darker. So this is my blueberry. So you know what? I am gonna give this more spritz. And so a lot of this, I feel it really is experimentation. You just gotta try and see what happens. Okay, so I'm gonna ink up the blue. This is the blueberry bushel. Let's go ahead and then I'm gonna spritz this. All right, I did more. We'll see what happens. Cause I was really hoping for that really washed out look but I didn't get it, but I'm okay with that. Okay, and I'm gonna put this on here. Ooh, I like that. And then I'm gonna put it on here. Yeah, and I'm gonna give it even more. Hmm, I should probably turn my paper towel this way. And you just stamp it. Ooh, look at that, isn't that neat? All right, so what do you think? I think I'm ready to go to the trees, but you know what? I actually think I want more blue on there. Okay, so I'm putting more. And so what if I do and I don't like it? That's the cool thing about paper. The paper itself doesn't cost that much, so yeah, that's what I was looking for. And I'm just kind of mushing it around. And if you end up with a big muddy mess, what do you do? You gotta get a new piece of paper and just start again. Oh, look, I got a little spritz there, but that's okay. Okay, I like that. Now I'm gonna do the tree line in the Night of Navy. So I'm gonna ink that up might even add black to this one. Okay, let's spritz her. You know what, I'm gonna, look at that, just all crazy, randomly spritzed it on camera. Okay. Give it time. I want that to sink into my paper. Ooh, I like it. And I'm gonna do more. See how I have that white? I don't want, I sometimes you want white. I don't want it. I wanna mush it in there. Good. Okay, give that a second. I kind of feel like I want just the spots. So one way, um, cause see this stamp set has these, like, I don't know, I'm gonna just call them spots. I am feeling like I want those and you're gonna laugh. I, it's either the lights or a hot flash or the cold. It could be anything. I gotta take my jacket off. Okay, can I, if you are in the East Coast DC area, it was like 67 degrees or something today. It was crazy. Okay, so to get just the spots, I don't want to ink that part. So one thing a crafter should always have is post-it notes. Although my thing is wet, so you know what I think I can do? I'm gonna, again, going crazy here. I'm just gonna ink, yeah, I'm just gonna ink the bottom. Okay, and I gotta spritz it. Don't want to spray it on my jacket. Okay, spritzed it. Because I just want, oh, I'm excited. Yeah, that I like. But you know what? I kind of feel like we should have a peak mountain. Don't you think we should have a peak mountain? All right, let's go back to the really light color and back to, ooh, I'm going to use that one. Okay, we're going to try this out. And then we're gonna set this aside. We're gonna do another one with watercolor paper, okay? And then we'll see if we can make at least one of them into something. All right, I did a lot of water. And also I'm gonna do it on this side so maybe I can cover up 
my air. Ooh, that looks good. I think it's going to be good. Oops, and you know what? Oh, this is so cool. We're going to get it. I'm going to fix it. Look at that. Okay, I can't do anything about that, and I'm okay with that. I like it. All right, we're going to let this dry, and we're going to try some on watercolor paper and see what happens. Let me put it on a piece of paper, and then we might have to hit it with the heat tool. Okay, let that sit. Okay, uh, watercolor paper. Here we go. We're going to use the back. I'm just checking that that doesn't feel... I think it'll be okay. All right, so let's try the same thing, but now we'll go the long way and we'll try to make it really, really watercolory with almost no definition. Okay, so I am spritzing my watercolor paper. You hear that? Spritz, spritz, spritz. It is super wet. Okay. You know what color? You know what? Hold on. I'm going to get out my Highland Heather. I'm going to go purple. But, um, okay, so I'm going to make sure this is clean so I don't get blue in my purple. Okay, it is. So we're going to go purple. And sometimes if your stamp is bigger than your ink pad, you can go like this. Turn it upside down and get it all over. Okay, and I'm going tons of water this time, guys. Tons and tons over here. All right, because I'm wanting that, like, way in the background... Now, it doesn't all the way fit for the length of the paper. Uh, I can tell you what I cut this to in a second. Yes. Oh, I'm super excited. Who knew you could get so excited about a bunch of... Let's see. Can I get a little definition there? I want a little bit. There we go. Yeah. And I want this over here. So I'm just pushing the water down. And if you feel like you got too much, you can take your paper towel... So you should definitely have lots of paper towels when you're watercoloring. I'm gonna tear, and you can dab it. I like it. Okay, so now we're gonna take the same one. Let me stamp it off. Okay, let me close the purple so I don't like have too too many ink pads and Audra can be dangerous. All right, now we're gonna go with Seaside Spray. This is one of my favorite colors. This is one of our new in colors, and I love it. I love it for. Christmas cards, it was great. I love it for summery cards. Apparently, I love it for mountainy cards. Okay, and see what I'm going to do? I'm going to try to put the peaks in a different spot. Oh, I didn't spritz it. Oh, no. Look, I didn't. All right, let's see what happens. Let's. Otherwise, we'll switch and get a new piece of paper. So stuff happens. I'm all telling you about why I love the color. And I didn't even spritz it. So... Let's see if we like this. All right. You know what? I'm going to go with it, though. I do like it because we have the purple ones behind it. So I'm okay with that. So that's what will happen with this stamp. If you don't spritz it, you get a lot more definition. And I did try. Let's see if I can find an aqua painter. I tried when I was working on this before because I've done watercolor with my, sorry guys, I'm looking for aqua painter. Here we go. Um, with aqua painter before, and a lot of times you can just add water, but I'm wondering if this has too much definition. And so see how it's, it's not moving it. So that's what, I tried to do it this way at first and I couldn't get it to work. And then I did go on Pinterest and found someone um, and she did a video and she spritz. And that's all I needed to know was, oh, spritz. Okay, so anywho. I think we're okay. So now, what if we do the same kind of thing? We do less definition trees and then more definition trees. Let's give it a try. All right, so not Night of Navy yet. So for less definition trees, we're gonna go blueberry bushel. Ink that up. And remind me, say Audra spritz it. Okay, I'm gonna spritz it. I do remember this time. All right, so I'm gonna spritz that a lot. So I'm actually kind of close, and I'm spritzing it a lot. All right. Whew, I'm getting all wet over here. Okay, and then I'm going to flip it over. Make sure I at least... Ooh, look, that almost fits. This stamp is a little bit longer than the mountains. Wow, isn't that a pretty color? Now, it would be really awesome to me if I could get that purpley blue. We'll see what happens when I lift it off. Ooh, I like it. But I want to get all the way to the edge. And I kind of feel like I want to mush it down a little bit. Ooh, 
All right. Okay. And now we're going to go, let me close one more. There's only so much room here. All right. And now we're going to go Knight of Navy with less spritzing. That is pretty. I'm glad I added the purple. And I am okay with the more definition on those. A little less would maybe make me happier. But I feel that I could send this to someone. I don't dislike it. Oh, spritz the thing, but not quite as much. Okay. Spritzed away. Oh, my gosh. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to run. Oh, you know what? I could take the water from the aqua painter. I'm like, I'm running out of uh, uh, water. Who knew I was going to be, like, super spritzing? Okay, I'm going to hold this. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Yes! Isn't that awesome? I like it. I like it. I like it. Okay, let me look at the other one. <gasps> look at that. That is beautiful. Okay, so there's my watercolor lesson. We're going to set this one aside, and we're going to make something with this, and then maybe we'll make something with the other one. Okay. It is a little bit messy, but not... Whoa, it would have been messy if I dropped that ink pad on there. If I want to drop the ink pad. Okay. So let's put those ink pads away. And let's think about what kind of card we can make. So I got out a couple stamp sets with words. Let's see if I can... <laughs> All right. Make something here. Okay, so this is new. Mm, excuse me. Peaceful Moments. And I was thinking... If you were going to do like a little framed art, these are the moments we'll look back on with joy. Isn't that pretty? You could, of course, make this as a happy birthday or thanks, um, thank you card. And then I also thought, I saw time for a new adventure. I think that would be a great thing on a mountainy card. And you could send it just for fun. Um, what else we got in here? Oh, the best thing about today is you. Like, if you went somewhere hiking with someone, that would be really cool. You mean the world to me? That would be pretty. You could also, oh, look at that. Know that love, prayers, and caring surround you today. This would make a great sympathy card. Um, but you could just put sympathy on there. So, some ideas. But let's see. First, though, okay, I got to dry it a little because I want to mount it on some paper. And it's a little bit damp. Where's my click? So, I'm going to just go one. When I dry things like this, a lot of times I just use level one because I don't know. I feel like the paper buckles more with the two. So that's just my thoughts. But we're going to make sure we get it pretty dry so that we can attach it. Now, I don't have a die cutting machine over here. Okay. Oh, and another tip. So see, look at this. How it? Can you see how it's curling? Let's see if I can show it to you. It curls up the the way the side that you're drying so you can flip it over and if you give it heat on the back side it will uncurl some and that's a really cool thing to know see now it's like flatter okay and i'm dry because it was mostly dry and then we'll probably have, oh, you guys that other one is drying beautifully okay so this is oh do i have a trimmer okay guys Hold on, let me grab something. Thought I had a trimmer back here, but I don't. Okay, yeah, I got a trimmer. So that way we can cut some paper. All right, so I'm gonna make this one into a card. And this is three by five and a half. Oh, that'd be the length of the card. I like that idea. Okay, oops, let's see. See what we can put on. Ooh, I like that. Okay. And then I think dark blue, navy around it. So let's get some navy. Okay. So we're going to do, we need, what did I say? This was three by five and a half. So I think we just need three and an eighth by five and a half. Okay. I got a trimmer. <laughs> I already lost the trimmer. Okay. Oh, this is an old trimmer. That's all right. It works. Three by five and a half. So let's cut it at three and an eighth. Oops, not score it. We're gonna cut it, okay, by five and a half. And we're gonna just do the whole five and a half because that's the length of the card. I think that'll look cool. By five and a half, okay. Oh, 
Let's check it out, see if I cut it right. So I always do this because sometimes you cut it and you do mess it up. I mean, it just happens. And that kind of looks like something is not right. Either my, no, oh, there we go. Either I was like, either my paper's not square or uh, my things aren't square. Okay, so let's attach this. This paper is thin and it's dry, so I feel like snail will work. On the watercolor paper, I would use liquid glue or glue dots. I would use Fast Fuse, but we don't sell it anymore. And I know, I'm pretty sure I can get it somewhere else and I may have to look for that. Okay. All right, let's put this on. So we'll get one card made and then I'll send you on your way. Cause I gotta go place the order for the open house. Mm, that's a little crooked, but it's okay. Okay, and then let's get our piece of, what is the color called guys? How can I, I can't remember? Oh, Seaside Spray. I was like, I can't remember what it's called. Now look at the ink pads. Okay, let's smooth this out. So I'm so glad some people hung out with me tonight. This is really awesome. Makes me super happy. All right, what do you think? In the middle? Sorry, just noticed a sticky spot from some snail. In the middle or off? I think this way. I like that. But I think we should wrap some twine around that. And I think we need, we're going to, I was going to make this a card. You know what? I'm going to do the sympathy. I had a good friend, their dad died. And I do need to send them a sympathy card. So I'm going to use this one with deepest sympathy. Because I do feel that well, anybody who's a card maker feels that, you know what, we still need to send the cards to get a block. Okay, and I'm going to do this in Night of Navy. And then we're going to punch it out. I'm going to grab some punches. So, like, I can reach everything, but also sometimes not. We're going to do, do you guys have this Starburst punch? I love this punch. I use it a lot. Okay, and then here's another thing to think about. So this shimmery white paper is not as white as our Whisper White. Let me see if I can see if you can see the difference. So see that? Well, it's not so bad today. Is that really? Oh, you know why? Because <laughs> that's shimmery white. That is super funny. That's, hold on, I'm trying to get a piece of white. Okay, now you can see the difference. Well, I don't know if in the light you can see that. So the shimmery white is a little more yellowy or antique -y to me than our Whisper White. So a lot of times I don't like to have the um, paper be different. Sometimes it doesn't bother me, but sometimes it does. So I'm going to stamp it on this. Can I get that? Yeah. And that'll fit. Okay. So I'm going to stamp it on this. And then we're going to add some twine. Hmm. Looks like I might need to re-ink that ink pad pretty soon, but I think it's okay. Oh, isn't that a pretty stamp? That's beautiful. Okay, and then I'm gonna stamp with the Starburst Punch, because look at how much, so I do love dyes, I love them, and we have all sorts of new um, things, but sometimes, oh, Oh, that is pretty right there. And then we're going to do twine around that. Okay, so let me, we're just going to do um, linen thread. Let's see if I can move things. Do you guys ever craft and you realize like, I will get where I have only this much space because stuff just gets out. Okay, so a cool tip. I, I know I've shared this before. I want to wrap this around a couple times. Okay, and I'm just totally winging this. Okay, so if you want your knot or bow, I think I am going to do a bow. I find the middle. I put it, so this is going to go off to the side. So my bow is going to come about here. So I put that in the middle, and I wrap it around from the back and around from the back. Can I do one more? If I tie a knot, I could do one more. Nope, so I'm going to go. I want a bow this time. So I wrap it around that way, and then you'll get a pretty even bow in that spot. So it's gonna be a long bow. I'll still have to trim it down, so. This is probably a little longer than I needed, but I'm okay with that. Luckily, twine is not that expensive, so you can go a little crazy. And I think I'm gonna do the thing where you 
widen the pieces. And you know what? I really feel like I want another layer. So watch this. Let's cut this bow. We're going to put some faux twine. <laughs> we are. Look at that. Because that is totally that way I can get another uh, round. So I'm going to flip it over. Snail it up. Tuck that twine in the snail. Do it on the other side. And because no one's ever going to know. They're going to think I wrapped it around a bunch. Which I would have. I totally would have. Um, yeah. And that way I have more. Ooh, could I, should I do this other one? No, it's not long enough. Okay, and then let's attach this. And then we'll put that on with dimensionals. Okay. Good. All right. And then we're going to put this on. And then a the little circle on. And we are good to go. And then I will show you the other thing. We won't make a card with it or a prod. Because I think I'm going to make a little framed art with it. Um, so maybe I'll make it tomorrow. And I'll be able to show it to you. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put a piece on the bag. So when you do... Always put extra snail or extra adhesive over your um, strings or ribbons because it'll help it stick better on the card. Okay, and I'm going to do it slightly more to the one side. Sorry, I can't talk and breathe and put this down at the same time. And then I'm going to show you something else we can do with these strings. Just tighten it up a little bit. Okay, and then this needs dimensionals, which I have here. I'm going to put two at the top, two at the bottom. You could probably do three, but, you know, it's okay. Okay, and then we're going to put this right there. And then take hold onto your bow and take your bone folder. And, like, you're doing, a, um, you know, like on presents, we're going to curl that up. Oh, isn't that pretty? Look at that. Oh, I love it. It's a sad occasion, but you could do a birthday card or a thinking of you card or a get well card with that. That is really pretty. All right, now let's look. Oh, guys, look. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? It's still damp, so I am going to dry it, and I will make something, and I will post that. I probably won't make it till tomorrow, so I'll post it like tomorrow night. Isn't that beautiful? So there you go. There is your quick watercoloring using the Mountain Air stamp set, which is in the new mini catalog. I don't know how much it costs. It's not um, outrageous. Oh, and you know what I didn't mention? This is a... What are they calling this? I don't know. Reversible? Yes, reversibles. So, you know what? N let's stamp that just so you can see what it looks like. And then I swear, I will send you on your way. So you can, let's do the trees and let's do them in green. Okay, do I have a piece of paper? Let's do regular paper. Here we go. Because you want to probably know about that. Okay, regular paper. Uh, those are not trees. Where is the stamp? Ah, okay, let's clean this. So um, a tip when you're cleaning stamps, always stamp it off on your paper and then put it on your chamois or your stamp and scrub because then you get less ink on that. Okay, and then because we went a little and then stamp it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and because we went a little crazy with water, let me get a paper towel. I am going to wipe this down. Okay, so we're going to do, let's go Mossy Meadow. That's like one of my favorites. Okay, so this is a, a tree line. We're gonna, And then I can always cut this down and put this on a card. So I'm going to ink the whole thing. So this is not watercolor. This is just another way we could use it. Okay, so I inked the whole thing. I'm just going to stamp it on here. Okay. So see my trees? Oh, that's because I had water in it. Isn't that a cute line of trees? Hmm. There's Okay, hold on. Let's try that one more time because I do actually want to use this. All right, let me wipe this better. Your trees don't have to be blue. They can be green. Okay, let's try one more time. And then I'm going to clean it and flip it over, and you're going to see what we can do. Okay, so here's my line of trees. Now, we could do the same color. Let's stamp this and let's clean this. Or we could do a different color. 
And so what I'm thinking, you could also do the same color stamped off, which is also really cool. So you know what? Let's, okay, let's take the, because I have an idea, but let's do the stamped off first. So then what you have to do, so like, unfortunately in a class, I probably wouldn't do this because I could not have six people or eight people, you know, taking stamps on and off. I think that would be too hard. But when you are crafting at home on your own, you can do some really fun stuff. So we're going to put this on. So this is a whole new thing. Stampin' Up! just started these reversible stamps. So look at this. See how this one actually lines up really well. And so what we're going to try is stamped off mossy. Whoa, it's really sticky. Let's do it this way. So we get a lighter version. And then we're going to try a different color on the other one. So I'm going to stamp it off and oh this is so funny the little part that's a water spot you know how sometimes the sun you get that little sun glare that's what that looks like to me okay so I stamped it off and now I'm gonna stamp it on uh, what do you think I think that's pretty good and look at that that looks really neat in the same color and I could have maybe done that a little lower, I think. Okay, so let's try it on this one. But I'm actually going to go try to decide between tans or a lighter green. So Mossy Meadow. You could go Garden Green. Ooh, Shaded Spruce adds a different tone. Or we could do Mint. I'm going to do Mint. Let's try Mint. So we have a lot of, Stampin' Up! has a lot of nice, okay, and then let me make sure, because mint is light, I don't want to put, I do need to clean this, I do not want to put um, Mossy Meadow in my mint ink pad. Okay, and then I'm even going to stamp the mint off, though. Okay. So I'm going to ink it. And we're going to see. Who knows? It might look terrible, but that's okay. It's experimentation. Yeah, because see how bright that is? But watch this. All right, I'm going to see if I can get it closer. Uh, there we go. Uh, sorry, sometimes I'm undecided. <laughs> All right, we're going to try that. Yeah, doesn't that look cool? I like that oh is that a mark oh no good that looks really neat to me okay so there you go I just wanted to show you um how that looked uh hold on let's try a a big tree in the front just for fun and then seriously I promise we'll you know uh let's get our mossy meadow back out okay so we're gonna do the big tree There we go and let's do some on the other side i don't even know why just because it looks cool so kind of like the foreground and the other trees are in the background i think we should keep going what do you think so i'm not even going to do the reverse stamping i'm just going to keep on going i think it should come down don't you think and so just stamp it like you're looking into the bowl. I don't know, like you're coming upon a lake with a mountain. I'm just making this up, guys. It is okay. I like it. All right, so anyway, we're going to stop now. I really have a lot of stuff I got to go do. But there you go. Just showing you. Hold on, let me close this and I'll show you the other ones. Here we go. Oh, I love that. Okay, so, and where's our card? I know we made a card. Here it is. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at our card. Okay, guys, thank you so much. I'm so happy some of you guys came and watched and hung out with me on your Sunday night and watched me be kind of crazy and stamp with our new stamp set. I'm very happy and I'm so very grateful. Um, thank you so much and I will see you next time. Stay crafty.